What, what the, the global sets represents to me, and what I, I find it really cool and, and, and unique, is that it tells a story. It's not only assessing different pieces of nature. It's putting that into a historical perspective. We look back 50 years. We understand the trajectories of development. We understand the displacement of economic growth in different parts of the world. We look back during the past decades. We understand what we've been doing, what, what have been the advances and the setbacks that we have. And we look forward in a reflexive way. If we continue to do business as usual, we know the consequence, but it also shows that there are options in which we can take to shift. I think one of the most important things that we could do, and I hope will be the impact of the global assessment, is to reverse the perverse narrative that environmental degradation and social inequality are in in inevitable outcomes of economic growth. We need to change that narrative. We need to make economic growth as a means and not an end. Quality of life is the end that we all want. There is hope, but we need to build on the efforts that are there. We need to build on the knowledge that we have to be able to revert those changes. People need to feel empowered. Policymakers need to feel empowered. Everyone contributes it. We have the tools to implement policy to make a difference on people's lives and a difference on the global environment.